Hi Libra, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of October 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's someone you already know or you're about to get to know, I will definitely do my best to see who you're connecting to this week, what their intentions are and their feelings, etc. Um, what else? Oh, just keep an open mind, Libra, that I do get very, very nosy in my readings. I do not hold back. I do not sugarcoat my messages. So if you hear a message and it does not feel like it's meant to be yours, just let the message go. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading and you're always in full control of your choices. Um, by the way, happy birthday. Hope your birthday season's going great and thank you so much for your patience on your reading. I just finally got my power and internet back after Hurricane Milton um, uh, came rushing in. So yeah, grateful to have it back. All right, let's get to your reading. All right, please tap into the energy of Libra today. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Who is energetically coming towards Libra this week? And what's their story together? Two more shuffles, eight card spread. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my birthday babies. Okay, so Libra, the person coming your way, how will they feel about you this week? We have the Hierophant. This is Major Arcana for Taurus. Their intentions with you. The Ace of Pentacles. This is Earth energy coming through. Strong Earth element. Their behavior and actions this week. The Fool, Major Arcana for Aries. Your feelings towards them. The Three of Wands. This is Fire energy now showing up. So Aries and Taurus coming in strongly. Not sure if that means anything to you. The potential challenge this week. The Four of Cups. This is Moon and Cancer. And your potential weekly outcome, Libra. The Chariot, Major Arcana for Cancer. Beautiful read. Beautiful read. I like it. We have a little thing going on here, but it's a minor arcana, so it's not like a game changer or anything like that, but we'll look at it. But overall, you look like you have a nice week here with somebody. Um, your advice, the Wheel of Fortune. This is fixed energy coming through. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. And I think I got cat hair tickling me. It's bugging me. Okay, let's take a look at the overall energy. The Eight of Pentacles. Influencing the Eight of Pentacles, we have the World card, fixed energy, and the Two of Cups. So Libra, it feels like this week, you and another person are finally gaining progress with something. Whether you guys were connecting with each other over a specific thing that you were trying to come to an agreement with, um, or just the connection overall is making some progress. There is someone coming through this reading today that feels very bonded to you, energetically bonded to you. And it feels like it's a mutual thing. Like you guys have mutual interests in each other. There's a mutual vibe here. Now, if this is someone that you just met and it's too soon for love to be showing up, this is the energy of mutually liking each other. And if this is someone that you've been dealing with for a while where there's already love that you're feeling for this person, well then it's mutual, all right? Um, I am feeling like someone is feeling like they have a game plan now and knows what to do moving forward to put in the effort with that Eight of Pentacles. It's kind of like um, maybe you and this person were not sure how to move forward in some regard. I don't know what it's talking about. You'll know. And this week, you guys are finally coming to some sort of agreement, a mutual agreement that allows someone to know what, what to do going forward to make something work. It's like, give me a to-do list, I'll knock it all out for you one by one, is the vibe. Now, I'm not saying that someone needed you to tell them exactly what to do, like you're someone's parent. No, no, not at all. It's just, it's telling me that you both came to some sort of mutual agreement or will this week, and now, now that someone knows what they're working with and you, now you guys know how to move forward and put in the work, put in you know, some effort towards something. Okay, someone's got a plan now. Whew, that was hard to get out. <laughs> um, it, it's showing me someone here this week that's fully committed to building something with you that's going to grow. Because the Ace of Pentacles as intentions, that's the intent to stabilize something, to bring with it um, 
some comfort, some reassurance, some security that something is growing. All right, because the Ace of Pentacles talks about growing into something long term because Pentacle energy connects to the 3D world, you know, and it leads to the Ten of Pentacles, which is marriage, family, building a legacy with someone, things like that. And the Hierophant talks about commitments. Now, I need to clarify the Hierophant to get more insight on how this person feels because the Hierophant as feelings could also be the energy of feeling that they learned a valuable lesson from some sort of experience with you because the Hierophant can also be a teacher. Um, it's someone gaining wisdom or teaching someone some life advice, okay? Or it could confirm that you guys may be married and you guys are having a new start in your relationship because that fool is telling me that this person is taking a chance at something. Okay, and you're open to it. You're happy. You're happy about something. So let's break it down because I really want to know what that Four of Cups is. Because that Four of Cups in the challenge position could tell me that you guys are coming to some sort of agreement this week on something, but there may be something else that you're looking at and thinking, no, 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 sorry, not that. Everything else but that. I'm not, I'm not on board with that. And I need to find out what that is. Okay, or some of you Librans may have to reject somebody in order to accept this person in. Clarify that hair font for how this person feels about Libra this week. What is this hair font all about, please? The Three of Wands and the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is Taurus energy, but also Capricorn and Virgo. Um, and then the Three of Wands came out for this person too. You both had the Three of Wands. Three of Wands plus Three of Wands equals the Six of Wands. That's success and victory in regards to something that you guys have been planning or will be playing this week. Because the Two of Wands goes right before the Three of Wands, which is making forward planning, things like that. And the Three of Wands is now executing that plan, letting that plan move forward. And what comes out after the Three of Wands is the Four of Wands, which is a successful partnership, building a community with somebody, moving in with someone, being more exclusive. The list could go on and on, but it's a good energy to be in. The King of Pentacles, as this person's feelings, is telling me that they feel comfortable with you, they feel secure with you, um, and not in a settling way when I say comfortable. No, it's just that it's nice to, to feel comfortable with somebody, feeling like you don't always have to be on edge, you know, if they're gonna leave you or be with someone else or that they're not really interested. It's, it's a nice, comfortable feeling. And then there's the Six of Wands when I was just connecting that earlier. And the Ace of Wands. So Libra, it feels like um, somebody this week is feeling like someone is striking while the iron is hot and not like letting something you know, shut down because of lack of, I, you know, lack of inner guidance and lack of direction. Because that chariot in the outcome position is telling me that there's now direction and someone's following the path now. Because the chariot as your weekly outcome tells me that you know where you're going now. Whereas if the chariot was in reverse, this would tell me that you're driving around town, you don't know what turn to make, your GPS is rerouting, and you're just feeling like you're wasting all your gas and time just spinning around the block, all right? Or driving through a dark city with no headlights on. It's like, where am I going? Chariot in the upright as your outcome tells me you know where you're going. You have a plan. You both now have a plan. And it feels good to have a plan, okay? And with the Wheel of Fortune as your advice, it is telling me that the more you release control over what the outcome is gonna look like or release control over having everything a specific way, everything's gonna start working in your favor because it feels like the universe and your higher self is steering the wheel of that chariot. You just need to go with the flow. Just trust your inner guidance. You know, as long as you're not forcing something, Everything's gonna just go the way it needs to. The more you force something, the more it's your higher self's way of saying, it's not meant to fit. Don't force a triangle and a square. All right, so let's get back to this person's feelings for you. I'm just trying to figure out what your status is. Like, are you guys going from talking to being more serious about dating each other? Are you guys going from already dating each other to being more exclusive with each other? It's just, it, it could read in many different ways. Give me another card on how this person feels about Libra. The Four of Swords in Reverse. Now, the Four of Swords in Reverse, that's telling me that someone here may have been making decisions while stressed out, okay? 
because the four of swords in the upright is taking a break resting and just you know feeling like one is recovering from some sort of serious challenge in one's life four of swords in reverse could tell me that someone may also be making a decision while stressed out and that could be why the four of cups is in the challenge position you guys may be coming to some sort of agreement on an area that's very important to you libra but there might be another area where you're looking at it thinking no man you rushed through that decision let's just let's just sleep on that one and focus on the decision that we did come to an agreement with and we'll circle back to that at a later time it's like no don't give me no rushed you know opportunity here like um something feels like they're rushing something because out of fear of not getting the opportunity again in the future it's like you're coming to some sort of agreement with this person in one area but in another area you're like no we need to get back to that later you didn't think that through that's what it kind of feels like libra and it's double fours here i'm getting repeated fours fours are ab about security and stability and strong foundations okay like someone likes saying i love you sloppily like you guys are making plans to start dating and it's like this person might say i love you all after like a few shots of you know fireball it's like don't tell me you love me after you've been drinking can we do this the right way that was just an example but that might be what someone may be dealing with this week where someone sends you a drunk text saying i, I love you and you're like no i want it more romantic than that all right that's just a side message for somebody out there okay just a side message because I feel like at the end of the day, this King of Pentacles is showing me that um, they're 10 toes down, they're very stable in their energy. Um, they're wanting to take some sort of chance, but they might be a little risky in other areas. Um, let's take a look at how you feel, Libra. You've got the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is the energy of patiently waiting because you know what you're waiting for is around the corner. It's like trusting that what you're manifesting is on the way. And you're not being too like attached to a specific energy. You're just telling the universe, I'm open to receiving whomever's for my highest good whenever they are meant to be in my life. Whether it's this person that I'm dealing with right now or you've got someone much better for me, I'm just gonna chill and just trust that everything is going to be working in my favor, okay? You're not putting too much pressure on yourself to have something a certain way. I like it, I like it. And that's why your advice is the wheel of fortune. The more you let go, the more everything starts to work in your favor. Why the three of wands? Jeez Louise. Those cards force its way out of my hands. Eight of swords, six of swords, a lot of Libra energy. Nine of pentacles, and then we have the fool, and then we have the ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles is that offer that this person tends to give you. And that full energy is this person taking some sort of chance, okay? Even though you're happy about something, there's still something about what this person's coming to you with that's leaving you a bit confused and feeling kind of like almost irritated that they're bringing something up while you guys are happy about coming to some sort of agreement on something else. Almost as if you're wanting to say, man, we finally came to an agreement on a, B, and C, and now you want to bring up X, Y, and Z when it's not the right time, and now that's just annoyed me. It's like you killed the mood. Something like that, and I feel like that connects to that Four of Cups. Um, it's like I can picture you and another person coming to some sort of agreement and feeling like you finally have a game plan, and you guys are excited and feeling really secure, and this person, or you, brings up something unrelated to what you guys were dealing with, and it just adds another stress to your plate that right after you finally released another burden. It's like, really, can, can we just have enjoyed the moment? Something like that. I need to dig a little bit deeper to figure out what this is. So I'm gonna go right into the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why the Four of Cups? Why the Four of Cups? The King of Swords, and then I see the Devil. The King of Swords, when it's in the challenge position, is someone that's not thinking clearly when they make some sort of decision. They're making a decision based off of fear or like being just scared that you're not gonna get the opportunity again. 
So it's like you guys are coming to some sort of agreement on some area of your life and you both are very happy about it and it's allowing you guys to have a, a new chance to move forward more confidently. But then something else is brought up, whether by you or this person, that adds, you know, unnecessary stress to the situation after overcoming one obstacle. It's like I, I have someone that's looking at the other person being like, we can cross that bridge at another day. I don't want to rush through that when we just got over this situation. Okay, let's just enjoy this moment and let's we'll, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Okay, it's like someone fearful that they're not going to get another opportunity to say something, to do something. Um, it's like I'm getting like a panic off of them. Like they have to say this, otherwise they're not going to get another chance. Give me another card off of that. Actually, I'm going to use a different set of cards. Can I get another card off of that? I mean, again, it's Minor Arcana's coming through um, in a court card, so it's not like a game changer. It's just, it's a, a bit of a nuisance this week, but nothing too serious, it feels like. Oh wait, we did see that Devil card, which is a major. The Magician and the Page of Wands. Now, the, the, the Page of Wands and the Magician in the challenge position, that's someone trying to force something that they're manifesting to come in a lot quicker. Okay, the, the magician, when it's in the challenge position, I read the energy in reverse. And that's, you know, not trusting that everything's coming in the way that it's meant to and like expecting something to happen overnight. But the magician in reverse is also the energy of feeling tempted or desperate to manipulate a situation if there is a fear that it's not going to work out in someone's favor. It feels like that. It's like someone's not having trust and faith that something's going to, you know, go forward the way it's it's needing to. And it might create an unnecessary annoyance factor for somebody. And it feels like it's you, Libra, feeling kind of annoyed that this would happen right after you guys figure something out. I just saw the chariot again. All right, so let's get to this person's intentions. Ace of Pentacles. This is someone that wants growth with you. Why the Ace of Pentacles as this person's intentions with Libra? Why the Ace of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles. This person has been slowly approaching you with this offer. Okay, so for some of you, this is someone that you've been connecting to for a, a bit. And this person has been like tiptoeing their way to you. This person, for some reason, has this nervous energy about them that maybe... It's not going to go in their favor. But I do feel like they're feeling comfortable in some regard with you. It's like you guys were able to cross something off of your energetic to-do list for the relationship to have success. And then there's the sun and the four pentacles. You may be dealing with someone that likes to have control. Like a control freak. Like someone that if they don't have every step planned out and know exactly what every step is going to lead to, they might feel stressed when you're over here going with the flow. That's what I'm kind of getting. I feel like this person wants to have happiness with you, wants to see this work out where you both can really benefit from it. I just, I'm feeling like a, a deaf grip on someone's need for control over how everything starts to unfold and progress. But going their way previously, may have slowed things down. Remember how we started the reading feeling really excited that there's finally a game plan? Like I felt the excitement off of a Libra that's like, finally, we got a game plan. Yes, we're finally making some progress, some leeway, great. Then out of nowhere, this person brings in a little side thing and you know, hey, what about this Libra? And you're over here like, we just figured this one out. Can we worry about that later when that time comes? It's like this person has to be 10 steps ahead at all times instead of just focusing on the now so that the now works out and not worry about the two weeks ago or two weeks in ahead. Something like that. You may be dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> Virgos like to have like their whole year planned out. Not all Virgos, that's just generalizing. And I don't wanna generalize. But someone likes to, to know way in advance a plan to the point where they might not have any forward movement at all because they're too worried about the planning. Judgment and the lover's card. 
And then I see the Four of Cups again, which came up in your challenge position. So Libra, I feel like as we leave your birthday season and step into Scorpio season, there is a big decision being made. And I could have sworn I got this same message off of your last week's reading. In fact, I think I'm still I'm wearing the same shirt from that last week's reading. I don't have a lot of clothes in my closet. Um, I hate shopping for clothes. But anyway, I feel like I got this message for you last week. Something about right as we step into Scorpio season, someone makes a very important decision after they've had a chance to like, you know, clear their head and not make it so stressed out as I got earlier. Um, I've been getting that a lot lately. I've been getting a lot of people reevaluating their relationships during Libra season as you are the seventh house, which relates to relationships. And Scorpio season is that season where people are like, all right, I reevaluated my, re my relationships, both friendship, coworker, love, family, and I'm gonna end this relationship. I'm gonna give this a chance at a new beginning. I'll welcome this person into my life. You are no longer in my life. That, that Pluto death and rebirth energy. Okay. In fact, I remember titling last week's video, your person having a sudden realization towards you or something like that. So let's clarify the fool. And then I'm going to get a card on the two of cups because I want to understand you guys' soul contract a little bit more. Clarify the fool as this person's behavior, the empress, Libra Taurus energy. So it feels like this person's behavior towards you this week is going to be of more nurturing, more ability to grow, because the Empress is a very fertile energy. You know, when the Empress shows up, it's like the window of an opportunity for things to really grow. Kind of like when a, I've said this recently, I, I think it was for a personal reading. Um, kind of like when someone is trying to conceive, they have that window of op opportunity when they're ovulating. Okay, it's, it's, it's giving that energy of, all right, we got this window of an opportunity to make this Ace of Pentacles, which is a seed, grow into something, you know, abundant. Ten of Pentacles, you know? So someone's taking some sort of chance at growing something with you. For some of you, for some of you, someone may be wanting to, to get with you and may already be bringing up hey, so you want to talk about having kids together? And you're over here like, whoa, we just agreed to finally be back together or to date and be exclusive. We're not ready to talk about that yet. You know, that could be for some of you. Not for everybody, of course, but that could be for some of you where someone's wanting to take a chance at like bringing your relationship even closer. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody. So let's take a look at the chariot for your weekly outcome. Why the chariot? Why the chariot? I just saw the messenger card try to come out. We'll see if it comes out on its own. Why the chariot? Why the chariot? Why the chariot? Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is reflecting on the recent events. It's looking at the last six hours, six days, six weeks, six months, six years. Really collecting, you know, information and looking at the relationship as a whole and coming to some sort of realization and final decision on how to move forward. All right. It's definitely showing me a lot of deep reflection where someone is looking at their recent events and asking themselves, have I been more happy or more sad? Have I been more nurtured by this person or do I have to like ask them to nurture me and ask them to do the things that I'm hoping they can do to meet my needs? Or have they just been naturally being there for me to where I can feel safe and secure with this person going forward? Okay. And Six of Cups is also about children too. So for some of you Librans, you may already be married to this person with that hair font and this person's asking asking if you guys you know have children together or another one if you already have one together okay or someone is returning to the relationship if there was a break and you guys needed some time to figure things out nine of pentacles on the bottom your advice is the wheel of fortune oh wait i want to clarify the two of cups first thank you for reminding me all right clarify the two of cups because whatever, whatever this 
you know, agreement is it connects to the world card, which talks about reaching new milestones. The world card can also talk about, you know, closing a chapter with somebody. You know, whether you guys start a new chapter together with that fool, because the fool card comes out after the world card, starting a new chapter together or, you know, just shutting that door in your life. Okay. I strongly feel like I have a Libra here that has been doing a lot of soul searching. You've been, you've been really trying to figure things out for yourself. And now you're feeling like you're ready. And this person is ready to understand which path to take that chariot. Which path to take that chariot? Do you go left or do you go right? You know? That's what I'm getting. Clarify the two of cups. The queen of wands and the page of pentacles. So this is the energy of feeling really confident and excited about whatever this opportunity is, page of pentacles. Okay? But I am seeing that four of cups and the emperor. And we got the empress right here telling me that someone here might be bringing up something else that someone is not on board with, but there's still the green light to go forward with the other plan. I keep on getting that message, okay? It's the one coming in more as the masculine energy. Doesn't matter what gender. It's someone that's wanting to call the shots and be 10 steps ahead, but someone's trying to like get someone to do something in a very fair and balanced and equal way. So... Let's clarify your advice. And then I'm going to pull your person's head message for those of you who are in complicated situations. Why well, the Wheel of Fortune as Libra's advice? Seven of Pentacles. Number seven, reevaluating re the relationships. So the Seven of Pentacles is you looking over your garden where you are growing your community. You know, each seed that you put in your garden represents something important to you. Your family, your neighbors, your, your favorite grocery store, your spouse, your lovers. I don't know. Everything is going to be different for everyone's garden. Somebody's garden is just all about money. All right. You're reevaluating it and you're, you're letting everything grow the way it's meant to. You did the work by planting the seeds. Now it's up to the universe to make everything grow for you. And this is all about patience. Okay, High Priestess. So Libra, I feel like you and someone are finally being on the same page with something. But there is a little bit of annoyance happening this week. We all go through that. Um, but I feel like you're going you're gonna to ride the wave. You're going to get over that with this person. I feel like someone's just getting a little too excited and wants to, you know, secure their spot with you. Um, but they're going too far in advance, okay? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Libra, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. BaddisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Baddison. And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs, Their Feelings for You spread, where I do the same spread as this, but I show my face so I can connect with you a little bit more instead of just seeing my hands. Um, I'll link in the description box below this video. The most recent one I did, you just click on that and just go for the Libra timestamp. You should be first because it's your birthday season. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Yeah, for some of you Librans, you might have someone that's trying to come back from the past and you may be in agreement to hear what they have to say, but you may feel like they're jumping the gun by talking about all the other stuff that they want to do with you. You're like, whoa, I just finally unblocked your number. Can we just chill and enjoy this moment then and then see how it goes? That, that's for some of you Librans. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart, and now I don't know how to let you go. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. We were too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. Ooh. For some of you Librans, someone, someone chose, you know, someone more similar at the safe route. Someone here likes to feel safe. All right. So I've got Leo here. I have Cancerian energy, Taurus, Libra, Aries, um, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus. Um, but it could be any zodiac sign, all right? So I hope this helps. I'll check back with you for your next weekly update next, next week. And hope to see you for your Sunday live stream. Namaste.